right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in the arcade, the intro, Dark Wilderness, long, longest digits prefix, quite a bit to say. What I did for this one was I created a digit array. Oh, let's talk about what it's asking. It wants us to get the prefix or the substring, the start of a string that is a substring is a prefix. So uh, they want us to find that in this case, one, two, three would be the longest prefix to start with. The way that I did it was I created a, a digits array that stores in a string version of all available digits from zero to one to uh, zero to nine rather. So after I did that, my hands are kind of achy today, so I might be typing a little bit slower, guys. Apologize for that. Uh, after I did that, with our input string that we've gotten, which is in this case 123AA1, I just went ahead and I broke that up into an array of characters using the split function. Now, uh, the next thing that I did was I, I created a array that I called prefix, which will be what we're going to push the digits to. We're, first, we're going to start by iterating through the for loop. And then after that, we're going to check each value up until we hit our if statement. So our if statement is going to say, hey, if digits uh, dot includes, includes will return back a true or false value if that value is in our digits array. So if it includes this current number, this current letter, which is a string number, right? Um, if it includes a one, a two, a three, all the way to nine, uh, great. But if it's equal to false, we want to go ahead and break our for loop because we're done with what, what we have to do here. So we're going to break. Now, if it doesn't hit that, it must be true. And thus we're going to push the current letter or the current uh, character that we're on, that number, a string number. And at the end here in our return statement, all we're gonna do is we're gonna, ret uh, before we do anything, we show our prefix, show that everything works. You'll see that it's going to be pushing, oops, of course, don't forget your equal sign. Uh, one, two, three, you see right here, one, two, three, that's our, those are all the characters, stops right there. So our logic is straight. All we have left to do is join it back into a single string and we are done. This one, not too bad. Um, there's probably, not probably, there is a regular expression to do all this. I just didn't feel like doing it. So I wrote this, um, if you have a better way, I encourage you guys always to share your solution, not necessarily for my benefit always, but for mine and everybody's uh, who's watching this video is trying to get better, trying to maybe think more like a, a, a developer, think like a programmer and kind of analyze these situations from multiple angles. But as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share. Check out our Facebook page, our Discord channel, and my Patreon if you want to support. And I'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys, thanks for watching the video. Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.